planes to deliver the first Tejas Mark 1A aircraft to the Indian Air Force within next one month. The DRDO is developing a naval long-range surface-to-air missile for next-generation destroyers, that will have a range of over 250 kilometers, and will be able to intercept anti-ship ballistic missiles flying at Mach 7. Russia's Kronzdent Group is willing to offer India its Orion E medium altitude low endurance UCAF with 80% localization. Defense Ministry has approved the 21,000 crore rupees deal with Hindustan Aeronautics to acquire around 230 new jet engines for Su-30 fighter jets. The Indian Army is looking to induct 90 high-power microwave Mark II systems to counter the threat of swarm drones. Sources have said that currently there is still no definitive timeline for the arrival of the first batch of three Apache helicopters from the US for the Indian Army. India has quietly retired its 350 km range nuclear capable Danush ship launched ballistic missile. Big Bang Boom Solutions Private Limited has showcased its products to a high level Mozambique delegation. Indian Army has issued a request for information for the local production of 125mm armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabot ammunition with a higher depth of penetration for T-72 and T-90 tanks. The Defence Ministry has approved a 21,000 crore rupees deal to acquire 230 AL-31 FP jet engines for its Su-30 fighter jets. The engines will be made in India from the raw material stage by Hindustan Aeronautics under a license arrangement with a high level of localization, and will replace older engines that are coming to the end of their service life. The total requirement of the AL-31 FP engines is close to 950 for powering the entire fleet of Su-30. Hindustan Aeronautics has initiated the groundwork for a new engine factory, that will manufacture 99 F-414 engines for the Tejas Mark II program. HAL has identified a suitable land parcel in Bangalore to house the upcoming manufacturing facility, and it aims to have the facility fully operational within two years of the finalization of the F-414 deal, with deliveries commencing within three years. The Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment is working to further optimize the indigenous 600 horsepower engine, that includes reducing the engine's weight and enhancing its power delivery mechanism. Once these refinements are completed, the 600 horsepower engine is poised to replace the American engine that currently powers the DRDO developed map and will also power the futuristic infantry combat vehicle, as well as a localized variant of the striker armored vehicle. The core technology of the indigenous combat management system for the upcoming three upgraded Scorpion submarines will be based on French architecture, but the actual system will be designed and built in India by Bharat Electronics Limited. Currently, the Indian Navy lacks access to the source code of the combat management system, that hinders the integration of new weapons and systems, and any modifications require the involvement of naval group engineers, which leads to delays and increased costs. As India expands its submarine fleet, the development of an indigenous combat management system is very crucial. General Electric's power conversion business has proposed its integrated full electric propulsion system for the Indian Navy's upcoming aircraft carrier, that promises enhanced efficiency survivability and cost effectiveness as compared to traditional propulsion methods. General Electric has said, that this technology can significantly improve vessel safety, reduce operational costs, and provide greater flexibility in ship design. Today's top 3 comments, 